Today's question comes from Micah. Micah asks, When I began college, some people in my life suggested that I go ahead and take any of the student loans offered to me. What are your suggestions for paying for college tuition without taking out thousands of dollars in student loans? This is a great question. The alternative to student loans in order to afford higher education is naturally going to be not borrowing for it and paying your way as you go, saving up the money and paying for the tuition, paying for your books, paying for your college expenses in cash, and pursuing scholarships that can fill in the gap between what you're capable of earning as a full-time student who has maybe a part-time job and or are working through the summer together using that to pay your way through school. Now let's let's pause for a moment and talk about student loans as a whole. Student loans are a huge problem for this country. Student loan debt has eclipsed credit card debt. It is the thing that is weighing down the average American's income more than anything else. A student loan takes over 20 years to pay off on average, 20 years. And just because you have gotten the student loan as you're in school doesn't mean you're going to graduate. And if you don't graduate, guess what? You still have the debt. And that debt is non-bankruptable. It's something that will weigh down on your income until you pay it off, even if you go bankrupt, even if the worst of the worst happens. That student loan is stuck to you. As we're pursuing paying for college without a student loan then, what we want to be doing is looking at our options so that we can choose something that is economical, the frugal college choice, if you will. We want something that is going to be prudent and economical and get us most of what we want, most of the utility. It's still going to give us the degree that we're searching for, but for less cost. One great option, and I had siblings who pursued this option is to go to a community college for the first year or two. When you're doing your prerequisites, it, it hardly matters where you go. Why pay more when the community college could suffice and you could roll those over to whatever public or private university you plan on getting your final degree from? When you do this, make sure that your college of choice accepts the community college credits toward the degree you're pursuing. Otherwise, it would just be a waste. But a community college can still cost you one-third the cost of the average public university if you're getting in-state tuition. If you're looking for getting a good deal at a four-year university, a public university, going out of state will cost you more than double. More than double. Last year, the average in-state tuition for a public university was just over ten grand. Out of state, it was $27,000 for a year of tuition. And that's just tuition. That's not room and board. The most expensive school on the list when I did some research last year that I found was $61,000. $61,000 in tuition for one year. If you get the same amount of education and the same amount of credit toward your degree for $3,000 as opposed to $61,000, well, goodness, I think, I think the choice should be obvious there. As you are preparing for school, don't be afraid to shop around and focus really hard on your grades. Getting excellent grades can help you with scholarships. When I was in school, this is what helped me the most. My academic success led to scholarships I didn't even know were possible, and they made it completely realistic to afford school debt-free. Getting a master's, a bachelor's, and a minor in the span of six years, all paid for from work and scholarships. In America, over 30% of college students graduate debt-free. Over 30%. One in three are doing it. One in three are working their way through school. And those who are doing it and paying their way through school are doing so in a way that is setting them up for financial success. It is releasing them of the common, average, ordinary handicap to your greatest wealth building tool, your income, when they have the most time that they ever will for 
growing their wealth, for building their career, and setting themselves up with the optimal foundation for their hope-filled financial future. Thank you so much, Micah, for your question. We really appreciate it.